The thought of getting published can be daunting. At Bristol University Press, we want to make sure that research that has the potential to impact positively on the world is out there, so we are keen to support first-time authors and early career researchers on the journey to publication. Here are some key things to think about if you're considering publishing your work. Before you start, imagine your book or article and your audience. You, like us, are publishing with a purpose. What do you want your work to achieve? Do you want to affect policy, or do you want to add to or challenge the current literature or thinking? It's important to be clear about the core aim of your work. Then, think about the type of book you want to write. This is important to know both for the tone of your book, a research monograph for example would be written very differently than a textbook, and you need to pitch it for the right audience. Finally, are there any timing issues, like a vote or event that you need to be ready for? If so, you may want to consider your timetable and make sure it's realistic, especially if there are external requirements involved, such as your funding requiring open access publishing. Once you have an idea of what you want to achieve, you will need to approach publishers. This works best if you do the research in advance so you find the right partnership. Things to consider include, are they experts in your subject area? Are people you admire publishing with them or recommending them? Do their values accord with yours? Are they aiming at the right audience? Is the quality of their products high? Can you tell it's been handled with care rather than churned out? Is their marketing and distribution effective? Do they have a good reputation for responsiveness and author support? Does their open access policy align with your needs and the needs of your funding? By choosing the right publisher, you're giving your book the best chance for success. Writing a book proposal can be a difficult task, especially if you've never written one before. The best and simplest advice is to give all the information they need to form a judgement without too much toing and froing. The less time the editor needs to spend requesting clarity or additional information, the more time they have to be impressed by your ideas. Things you should include are the working title, which should reflect the content of your book, the aims and scope, a synopsis, the type of book such as textbook or monograph, the audience, your proposal will appear much more professional if it's clear you know who your audience is, what competition is there out there, giving reasons why your book will sell and fill a gap, and any copyright issues, including if anything has been published elsewhere. It can also help to include your CV to demonstrate why you are qualified to write the book. Your proposal needs to be clear and well structured, with an understanding that, while you know your research inside out, the reader doesn't. It needs to both show the peer reviewers, who are experts, that you know the field and are situating your book in the existing literature, but it also needs to be clear to a non-expert audience, including the commissioning editor and marketing and sales team, what the book is planning to do as they are the ones who will be making a contracting decision. Make sure that there are no spelling errors, that you back up any points you are making, and get feedback and advice from colleagues before submitting to ensure everything is as well put together as possible. Remember, you are selling your research and yourself. Present both in the best light possible by showing your research is outstanding and you are motivated and ready to dig in, both with the book itself and helping to market it once it has been published. We hope this has given you useful advice and helped you on the road to publishing your work, and we look forward to receiving proposals from you in the near future.